The city of Hopkinsville has a historic and storied past, and it's the burial site of one of America's most renowned psychics. Edgar Casey was born seven miles south of Hopkinsville, March 18, 1877, and at the age of 13, he had had his first vision. Uh, an angel or, or some kind of experience, he, he was asked what he wanted to do, and he wanted to help children. As the son of a minister, he was very religious. He read the Bible, uh, say, one at least once every year of his life. I will not get at school. Points with a spelling book changed his life. He slept on that book, and when he woke up, uh, he knew everything in that book. He had a photographic uh, memory of everything in that book. He, at age 23, uh, he lost his voice. He couldn't couldn't talk. Until uh, Al Lane, who was the diagnostician here, he hypnotized him and uh, uh, asked Edgar what his condition was. And then Edgar started talking and told what the condition was. It was a circulatory problem in his throat. And uh, uh, it could be cured by suggestion. After recovering his voice, he began reading for Lane's patients. His desire to help people and other, and he, he wasn't selfish, it wasn't for self. Nothing was for himself. He, he was a very humble man all of his life. For over 43 years of his adult life, Casey had the uncanny ability to put himself into some kind of self-induced sleep. From this point, he was able to answer questions as diverse as, what are the secrets of the universe, to how do I remove a wart? These insights are maintained by the Association for Research and Enlightenment, located in Virginia Beach, Virginia, funded by Casey in 1931. These readings supposedly contain insights valuable to people even to this day, who here found practical help from everything from meaning and health. On January 3, 1945, Edgar Casey passed away. He would died in Virginia Beach. They brought his body back to Hopkinsville, and he's buried in uh, Riverside Cemetery. This ordinary headstone marks the site of an extraordinary man who touched so many lives. He became known as a sleeping prophet, but some wonder is he finally sleeping in peace. Casey's son, Hugh Lynn, related this story. We're concerned about the birth uh, of his second child. One night, Hugh Lynn said in his bedroom, all of a sudden, he realized the presence of Edgar Casey, and he said everything would be all right.